This is a video of making of how to do a coin shrink operation with my pulse power generator. I've been uh, meaning to do this for a while and I'm just now getting around to it because it takes two people to make the video. I've already made a video showing the details of this pulse power generator so if you want to know more about that you can go look at that video. So this is just a quick overview before I start doing the coin shrink operation. Uh, it basically consists of three parts. There's a big capacitor down here, 100 microfarads, up to 22,000 volts, a spark gap switch here, and this blast box. This is where the actual coin shrinking takes place. And there's a variac over here to help charge the capacitor. There's some voltmeters here to let me know the state of the charge. And my wife is helping me out, so you'll hear me talking to her every now and then. So, go ahead and take the top of the lid off. Okay, so she's removed the lid of the blast cage. Just to show you what's in here. I'm looking down inside of it. Okay, this is the actual piece that holds the coin to be shrunk. There's 10 turns of 12-gauge uh, wire here. And the quarter is right in the middle of that. And it's connected to these two terminals. And just to show you an idea, and here's one, and I'll see if I can show you the quarter. Here, you can see the quarter in the middle there. So that's what it consists of. So now I have my wife put the lid back in the blast cage. And secure it with bolts. This is to keep the lid from flying off. Even though the lid weighs over 10 pounds, um, the force of the explosion will blow it off if it isn't secured with these. So she's doing that now. While she's doing that, I'll discuss it a little more. Um, this is this blue box down here is the neon sign transformer. It's a 15,000 volt 60 milliamp transformer. That's what's used to charge it. And she's almost got it on there. Now this will be a, a 7200 joule shot which will require a 12,000 volt charge on the capacitor. Okay, she's got that done. So now I'm going to go over here Turn the variac on and start the charging. And uh, putting my safety glasses on just in case. And I'm going to be watching this voltmeter. And you probably can't see it. I'm looking at the left handed voltmeter. It's up to 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000. Okay, it's charged. Now, okay, Mary, unplug it. Unplugging the cord of the Variac just for safety. All right, now then, I'm going to disconnect the charging circuit, otherwise it'll blow out the diodes. And I'm doing that with these lanyards down here. Now here's the firing lanyard. Okay, I'm getting ready to fire it. Three, two, one. I jumped. Hopefully the camera didn't jump too much. It's pretty loud. Okay, now, before we approach it, I'm pulling this discharge switch. This dumps the remaining charge of the capacitor into the bleeder resistors on the side. All right. 
and the bleed down voltmeter is reading zero, so it should be safe. But just to be sure, I'm going to use this uh, hot stick to discharge any residual current. And put a shorting wire on here. Get that handy. Just to make sure that uh, no more charge can build up on that capacitor. Okay. All right, now then. Okay, Mary, I'm going to remove the lid. So now then, we can take a look at the, the mayhem. While she's doing that, I don't know if you can see the, the uh, discharge marks on the brass electrode in there. A lot of glare, maybe not. Okay, remove the lid. Now you can see there's a lot of vapor. That's actually copper vapor. And uh, let's look down in there, see what's left. Not much. All that's left is sh shards of copper. Now then, let's see if I can locate. Oh, okay. Now here's the quarter right here. I'm going to touch it. It may be too hot. Let me see. Yeah, it's warm. Not too bad, though. Mary, did you put the lid back on? Just to get it out of the way. Okay. All right, here's the quarter. Now, I'm going to put it beside a unshrunken quarter. And you can see that it's shrunken down to about the size of a dime. So that's the process. I hope this was informative and I'll be you'll be waiting for the next video. Bye.